What is going on guys? Welcome back to BMG Drive and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you something that can help you dramatically change the way you play BMG. And it's completely free, even though in the title there's Stream Deck in the name, you don't have to pay 150 bucks for a Stream Deck, okay? I'm going to show you how to do this 100% free and let's get started. Real quick, before we start the video, I want to show you everything you can do with this, this kind of, I guess it's not really a mod, but it's a modification or an addition to your game. What you have on the bottom right is my phone. See, look, this is my hand. This is this is an iPhone that's connected to my computer via the Stream Deck app. This app is completely 100% free. Anybody can download it on any device that supports the Stream Deck app. Now, if you wanted more squares, if you want the 8x4 or even the 8x8, I think is the biggest you can go, um, you'll have to pay $25 a year. But for now, you can get the 3x2 for absolutely free, and that lets you customize it any way that you want. Real quick, we are in the Chantilla right now. We're going to do some things. Um, now you can program this to do anything that you ever want. We're going to do ESC. So you can see that the ESC modes are changing. We come over here where you can do the lights. So that's the right light, left. Now I did have it set up too. If I hold either or, it's the hazards. So that's something you can do as well. Okay, so last thing, this vehicle doesn't have a diff lock, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, police lights so the first section turns on the lights if you hit it again plays the sound there it is <laughs> it does the thing okay we're gonna turn that off that's absolutely annoying let's move into a car that does have a differential lock like the good old t-series okay we're in the t-series now we can lock the differentials you see all three locked at the same time there is no way to change that as far as i know um it's just all on all off so there you go now you have your high and low gears. Perfect. Uh, the truck doesn't have ESC. That's great. Uh, signal lights. Signal lights. Oh, wait, the car's off. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dang it, dude. I already messed up. Hold up. Let's let's start it up. All right, signals. That's left. That's right. We can hold it again. It turns on your hazards. Beautiful. And then one thing, too, is... You can have up to 10 pages per uh, on your stream deck. So I'm going to show you the stream deck right here. This is the stream deck app. If you have a stream deck, you know exactly what you're looking at right now. Uh, you can have up to 10 pages. So you can have this set up for any all the cars that you drive in BMG. So you have your, you know, you can do your regular cars, your T series, your D series, you know, H series, whatever you have that's different. Um, <clears throat> you can set it up that way. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up different things. I have these two slots open and one we're going to add the engine braking function as a toggle so you can turn that on if you're going downhill and you don't want to use your air brakes so let's move on to the next thing that i want to show you okay we're here in this d series so let's go back to our first page because that's our t series page now these do both work for all vehicles because it's just this, it's the same you know key bindings actually this car doesn't have signals so that's an awful excuse so uh the, the signals do work for all the vehicles uh, no matter what page you're on it's just this car doesn't have signals so that's an awful excuse but i just want to show you guys that the high low gear also changes it from too high to four and so on and so forth so um it lets you toggle through that as well okay so if i've kept you guys entertained for this long let's go into the tutorial and let's start this thing all right first thing you want to do to download everything is subscribe to the Edgar plays youtube channel I'm just kidding. That's absolutely 100% optional, but I would appreciate it. All right. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Elgato website. Uh, this is where you're going to download the Stream Deck software. Make sure you just click download. Um, you can enter in your information, but it's optional. You can just continue to download and that's going to download. Obviously, I'm not going to download it again because I already downloaded it. Okay. Once everything is installed and good to go, you're going to get something like this. Now it's going to say, hey, you don't have a Stream Deck connected. So now you're going to have to download a Stream Deck. All right. So on your mobile device, you're going to go into the App Store. We're going to go into search and just look up Elgato. Perfect. So the first app right there is the Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. Now this app actually works for a lot of different applications and devices. Uh, I have it on my iPhone 14 Pro, which is fairly new. I also have it on my iPhone 11 Pro or Plus. Sorry, they didn't have Pro back then. Um, which is a few years old and it works flawlessly with no lag or anything. So this app will work on a lot of devices. So you just have to uh, 
have to just make sure it's compatible. Okay, you have already set up your iPhone or your device and it's connected to your Stream Deck. So now you're seeing blank squares, right? And you're seeing, uh, you know, nothing on your iPhone. Two things here on the top is going to be which device you're using. So if you had a physical stream, Steam Deck or Stream Deck, I'm sorry, uh, it, you'll have the option here for the mobile or you know the the physical stream deck and then down here is the profile so i actually have a profile for when i used to pay for this app and i can just make the squares bigger you can change the square size on your on your device um but here is when i had it bigger so this was all my live streaming stuff and the way it was set up um, but now since i have the free version i use the small one because the other squares it doesn't let you use the other squares but you can still see them which is pretty cool i guess but you can set up different profiles for uh, maybe different games or different things you're doing because the stream deck is not only for streaming you can use it for your productivity you can use it for video editing i mean the, the possibilities with the stream deck are endless now we're using it for gaming so you can just have it set up to where it opens up applications when you click on it like discord or you know google chrome or whatever but either way, let's go into the uh, profile that we're in, right? We're going to start from a blank page right here. We're at number three. The next thing you want to download is going to be Super Macro. What Super Macro does, it is allows you to bind macros from the Stream Deck to, like, let's say, your keyboard. So the easiest way to download plugins for the Stream Deck, and this is also to the OBS plugin are automatically downloaded when I installed uh stream deck but the discord plugin didn't so if you wanted to control discord things you can do it that way but you want to click this little like marketplace logo i guess that's what they call it and it's going to open up you to the stream deck marketplace make sure you type in super macro perfect so it's super macro by bar raider it's 100 percent free you don't have to pay for anything now, this is the tricky part that sometimes doesn't work and sometimes doesn't. When you click on open in Stream Deck, the Google Chrome page will minimize. And then you'll get an alert right here that says installing, uh, uh, installing, you know, plugin XYZ. So make sure you see that and make sure that it goes through. I've had to click it a few times, a few different times for it to go through. So the when everything is installed, you're going to come in here to Super Macro. And now you have the different keystrokes and different things. Luckily, the, the plugin creator actually gave some kind of like information when you hover over them. So you can really see what you need. Obviously, there's different keystrokes for different things. Sometimes some of these do like repeated tapping. So like if you're AFKing somewhere and you just need it to like mine something like in Minecraft. Um, or you can set up a toggle that does different things. What we're going to be using today is called a super macro. And you can just go ahead and place these everywhere. So now we have all of the macros set up here on the stream deck. Now we need to assign them. And what we're going to do is go to your game of choice. Now we're playing BeamNG today because this is a BeamNG <laughs> channel. But this will essentially work in any game that you play. Because all it does is it simulates you clicking the keys on your keyboard. So if you want to open the maps in Call of Duty or if you want to open some sort of function in minecraft i mean you can the possibilities are endless so uh we have beamng here i am in windowed mode because it is a little bit easier i have a dual screen setup um so doing this on my on my own is fine but for for video purposes i want to make sure you guys can see everything um the first thing we're going to start with is the esc i want to be able to switch between the esc modes without um having to physically click click on the on the little icon we're going to go into options controls and we're just going to look up esc you want to go to probably vehicle depending on what the function is it'll be under vehicle specific um if you wanted to like open or close the like box truck doors it's going to be under vehicle specific because that vehicle only specifically has that function all right there it is toggle esc traction control mode so control Q is the is the program that we use to change the uh, that function. OK, so let's back out. Let's just verify that that's true. So control Q changes my ESC. OK, so it is working great. All right. So now here in the Stream Deck app, we're going to load up. We're going to name this ESC. You can obviously name it whatever you want. Uh, we are going to go over the icons in a second towards the end. So just hang on to that. 
Okay, short press macro. So there's short press and long press. Now this is how I set up the signals. So like short pressing once is just the left or right signal. And then long pressing is the hazards. Um, you can set this up however you want to, but the way I have set it up, you're going to click capture, just do control Q. So see it did the parentheses. And that's essentially saying when you click this first button on your stream deck, it's going to function as control Q. You want to come down here after you've done that and you're going to click delayed key mode. And then you should be done. So now we can go into the stream deck itself and just test. Make sure you click back on BMG. Perfect. So that is working. That is functioning. Okay. So it's pretty self-explanatory from there. The only thing I am going to show you is the signal lights because I did do something a little bit more fancier on there. Uh, just to let you guys know, I did have issues with programming the original uh, key binds for left and right turn signal. Um, the comma and period just was not working with this app. It was giving me all sorts of issues. So I just I went ahead and just changed it. All right. So left signal, right signal and hazard lights and then light bar is uh is usually your your cop lights your police lights so left signal is uh i changed it just to left arrow right signal is right arrow uh, hazard lights is down okay so um we're gonna make this one left so we're gonna name it left okay we're gonna come down a little bit you're gonna do so your short press macro is gonna be your initial one it's just going to be left. All right. Once you have the left arrow programmed, right? The, uh, the whatever side you're working on for you to program something like a long press turns on the hazards. You can, you can go under here under long press. We're going to do capture again. And now hazard lights are down. That's how I program it because hazard lights were also giving air issues as well. So long press is down. And then obviously short press is left or right, depending on the key that you chose. And then also to make sure you that you do check the delayed key down mode. All right, so let's go back into BeamNG Drive. Let's just make sure that is working. So we're going to short press. Perfect. And then now we long press. Beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh. You guys don't even know how long that took to figure out <laughs> the first day I started. So basically you want to go through this and set up all the things just like I have here. But now you're done. Okay, you've set everything up this is this is it you if if this is all you care about you could leave okay now the icons the icons are kind of the biggest thing because you kind of want it to look aesthetically pleasing <laughs> at least to me um so i kind of kept with the beam ng theme uh huge huge shout out to 23 terabytes now if you don't know who 23 terabytes is He's a mod creator that made the career mode mod we looked at a few episodes ago in the career modes. Um, he created that, but he also created this, the BeamNG icon pack. Now, this thing is amazing, dude. I think it's 1,400 icons, 1,700. 1,700 different icons for map creators, different vehicle things like horn, cruise control, different colors. I mean, everything. This is honestly amazing. So the icons don't do anything. They're just literally images. Um, what the icon does when you press it, that's up to you. And in this, he said also that he didn't program any, he didn't put any configurations because he has really technical things that he does for his setup and that's how he does it. So for him to port it over, it wouldn't, it wouldn't relate with us. It wouldn't make sense. All right. Once you're at the website, you're going to go all the way down to the download folder, you're going to download the zip. All right, once you've downloaded the zip, you are going to open it in your files folder. Okay, perfect. So here, uh, the Steam you know ecosystem has made it so easy for you to just download packs. You clear, literally just click this twice. Nope, click it twice. It's going to already open in the Stream Deck app. Um, now, it's not going to say that I've, I've imported it because I've already done it. Let me see if I do it again. Okay, yeah, no, I won't. But like before, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Look, see, beam pack icon is already installed. Beautiful. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. <laughs> all right, so we're going to come over here to the Steam Beam Pack. Let me close out some of these. Um, so now this is where you can get creative. If you click on the icon, click the plus. Well, it opens the icon on the other monitor. My bad. Uh, beam Pack right here. 1735 is the amount of icons. So now you can look. Uh, you can either go down like this 
or you can just type in since this is the ESC uh, here are all the ESC options so obviously if you had like the 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 stream deck XL which is a super big one um, you can actually like you know program each individual button for each individual thing that you wanted to do uh, so yeah uh, I think I chose like the orange one just to make it match and then you know oh, okay well here let me choose one so we can show you guys boom 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 okay well <laughs> oh it's already there I'm stupid <laughs> okay there you go okay perfect perfect uh, and then the left arrow so I think I did this for the signal oh wait I gotta click that one and then this is ESC So yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, pretty pretty easy app, pretty intuitive to use. All right, I have a T series here. This is the last thing I want to show you guys for something that isn't programmed already, um, like engine braking. So the engine braking is so we can look at braking. Nope, not that. All right, so toggle compression braking is what we're looking for. Um, that's just gonna turn it on and off. Obviously, if you had more buttons, you could do, you know, increase, decrease, set to a certain level, and set strength. So we're going to click this since I have nothing assigned to my up arrow. We're just going to do up, apply, going to come over here. This one is going to be um, engine break. Perfect. That is huge. Uh, <laughs> not really worried about that. We're going to capture up key. Up arrow is the one that we're looking for. Make sure you click delayed key down mode. Okay. We're going to come into icons, right? Icons. Oh, we're already there. Never mind. So, engine, that's not it. Let's see if there's an actual brake. Is there an actual engine braking one? I don't think there is. Okay, yeah, there's there's no like. What if we do air? <laughs> sure. Okay, that works. Okay, so now you know that is the engine compressing, uh, uh, you know, button that you can use. And I don't have the camera set up anymore, but all these buttons that you do here will show up on your phone. So I physically see the button. Now you can see that the engine compression is working. So guys, uh, if you have learned anything in today's video, please leave a huge like down below. If you guys want a channel dedicated to things like this, like these like tech tips or, or tech reviews, I would love to make something like this. I think this is really fun to do and fun to figure out. Setting up streams, setting up recording setups, um, how to set up your microphone, making sure you sound crispy. <laughs> Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and bye!